Oh, okay, that's how you do it. Oops. Yeah, that took some time. So this should actually take us somewhere we, where we have not been before. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so that's the correct way to do it. Uh, apparently you're not supposed to just jump down. Doesn't seem like it's actually possible to do that and end up uh, jumping down to this spot. It was kind of funny though, because you could see something if you look down, but it was very hard to get a good camera angle on it, so you couldn't quite tell if you could uh, land on something safe. Uh, well, this puzzle is pretty straightforward, I think. So you have to, yeah, I figured something like that. So you have to align all of the eyes and slash all of them at the same time. Um, let's see how, if you, okay, this might actually do the trick. I'm still so unused to using a controller for controls, so Precise movements are always a little bit iffy to try to perform. It's definitely a recurring feeling whenever I try to like fill in the stars for um, when you acquire a new brush technique and you have to fill out the stars for the... Um, what's it called again? Well, you know, it takes some very precise movements to actually align the brush tip on top of the correct spot. I remember these guys when I first fought against them, I was like, how do you beat these guys? But I guess you just had to figure out a way to to let to to have them drop the the like the ice barrier they put up because of the their icy demeanor, and then you can just whack away at them. All right, so that unfreezes the statue, which is burning like a phoenix. This phoenix is only a statue, right? I mean, it looks like it might take off at any moment. Ah, uh, and here we have the next brush technique. All right. So with this, we should be able to open up the rest of this dungeon. Sweet. Yeah, so now we're, yeah, this is the, what I'm talking about. Oh, I am totally blind. Ugh. Okay, yeah. Thankfully the game is not too picky about actually placing the stars correctly entirely. That bird is smoking a pipe. Ah, Amateras, origin of all that is good, and mother to us all. Sealed away by the dark forces, I have spent years in this cave. Time passed, but I was unable to make my way to freedom. But now, your power has lifted the curse that plagued me. I, Moegami, god of flames, lend you my fiery power. 
burn a new source of light into the obscuring darkness. Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's well. Oh gee, I wonder what we should do with this new brush power we have acquired. describes the brush technique as something more fierce than it actually is. I mean, Inferno is supposed to be like a huge, I don't know, this huge ball of destruct destructive fire, if you just think of it. But this is just like a... It, it is way more flashy than it actually uh, is described as. There's nothing else in here? No. Okay. Oh, here is another elevator. Let's see, let's just unfreeze this. Or let's thaw the ice. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, so while we are looking for, um, uh, we're still looking for the ingredients, of course, but uh, so I'll just, um, let us let me just drop uh, something down for you guys. Um, so for those of you who do not know, uh, I am, I have actually bought um, a used PSP. Which and, and I'm waiting for the shipments to arrive. Um, so the the reason for actually buying a PSP is initially to play some games I've been I've been uh, eyeing over the past few years. And since they're pretty cheap now, I thought that it's a good uh, opportunity to to play some of them. And you know I need to satisfy my JRPG fix. So. But there's also a second reason for actually purchasing a PSP, and that is that, if possible, uh, I haven't actually tried this, but um, um, I'll have to see if it, how it actually looks and if it's uh, doable. But uh, if possible, I'll also um, uh, I'll also do a future LP project project for uh, one of the games I'm uh, going to buy. Let's see, I know there's a... Okay, just hold on. So there's... I know there's you're supposed to see in the bestiary which... for all the enemies you have encountered and how you're supposed to defeat them. But... Yeah. I had totally forgot that you actually need to watch the entries. There we go, okay. I was like, why isn't there any info on all of the enemies I've defeated? Use Inferno to burn this evil foe. Oh, well that's great. Because there's... I need fire for that. Yeah, so... Uh, back to uh, what I was saying. Uh, so if possible, I'll do a future LP project for one of the games I'm going to buy. Um, but I need to kind of look into or I need to see if it actually works out as I hope it will um, like how does it actually look on the TV uh, but if I can work it out um, I'll make an announcement about that eventually actually I think I'll just uh, talk more about that in uh, during my uh, Raido Kusunoa playthrough since it it feels a little bit more appropriate to talk 
Oh my god, there was totally a torch nearby. I could have used it to, to burn the, to burn down those foes. Great. Okay, well, um, yeah. I okay. Well, wasn't that big of a deal. Could just beat them down without a fire. Okay, well, that's one ingredient down. But yeah, the thing, the the reason why I'm talk, I'll just talk about it more in my uh, Ryder Kusanova videos. Well, you'll you'll see. It will make more sense uh, when I give you an update about that. Hmm, this was not here before, and we have some more faith, or whatever it's called. Okay. So, now that we can get past this door here, we should be able to find some more ingredients. I hope. Well, this looks right. Easy peasy. And shotgun to the face. Ah, another ingredient. Okay. I mean, I have, I have, I have lost count of how many I have left, but uh, we're making progress. Okay, so this key should let me open up the door, which is on the like the third or fourth floor, fourth floor. Hmm, uh huh? Can you do something with these? Oh my, my throat is starting to get a little bit sore again. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I don't know how to do this. Yeah, they're supposed to turn on fire. Somehow. But I can't remember how you do it. I mean, the actual brush technique is, is simple in itself. You just draw fire on two things, but there's no fire here. <laughs> 